Hey, Joshua here with SaltyScales.com. Today's topic of discussion is how to create a float rig for Spanish mackerel fishing. It's super effective, super simple. Let's get started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here we are. We have our few essential items that you'll need for this rig. Uh, they include a small 50 pound or so swivel, 50 pound rated swivel, a small egg sinker, a bobber stop, a 2X number one long shank hook or a one knot, and a cork simple and sweet so that's a course in a rod and reel so first things first guys um, what you want to do is take your bobber stop and you'll notice that you have your small bead and they come on a wire and they have this small little circle or opening for your fishing line so what you want to do is take your fishing line and put it through that little hole just like so. Once you do that you want to make sure you're firmly grasping the wire that the bead is on and then you want to start to pull the bead off of the wire on to the fishing line just like so. Alright so here's the bead on our fishing line and this can be adjusted at any depth that you set it at so that's what's really great about this uh, bobber stop is that you can adjust the depths of your bobber with a quick slide of this bead. So I'm going to slide it up on the, the main line here. Alright, so now all we have to do is remove the wire from the main line. And there we are. Our bead has been placed onto the line. And we're now ready to move forward with the next step. Alright, so now all we have to do is place our bobber onto the main line. And sometimes that can be tricky. You just want to work that line down this little tube. And it kind of finesse it, you know. There's no little spots on the line that'll get caught up. There we go. Popped out the other side. Alright, next thing you want to do is you want to add weight. You can get these corks either weighted or unweighted in this particular instance it's not weighted so you have to add the lead that way the cork functions properly um, if it's weighted obviously you don't you can skip this step so here I have a 3 8 ounce lead that you want to add to the cork alright we're in so now we have our bobber stop our bobber and our lead Next thing we want to do is add a swivel. This is our 40, 50 pound class swivel. Just put it on. If you're using braid, guys, you want to make sure you're double looping this. So you're going through this twice. And that's to prevent slippage. And then what you want to do is just tie your fundamental knot here. Or whatever knot you choose, of course. Polymer knot, you can do anything you want. Anything that's going to hold up, that's, that's really uh, your choice. Put it back through the hole. Alright, and then just pull it tight. Alright, so now that I tied my swivel, I'm going to go ahead and trim my tag. I like it to be all purdy and organized. Alright, next thing we want to do is go ahead and add a leader. I like to use for mackerel fishing guys 30 pound test line. You can go up a little bit. The larger the diameter of the line, the leader, the fewer the strikes you're going to get. You're going to lose a few with lighter, lighter line, but you're going to get a lot more action and you're going to catch a lot more fish. So. You know, it just depends on what you want to do. If you want to play it safe, go up to 40, 50 pound leader. I like action. Alright, so I got my bobber stopped. I have my bobber, 3 8 ounce lead, 
40 to 50 pound class swivel and then tied to about two and a half, three foot of 30 pound uh, leader material. Last but not least, you want to add your long shank, 2x long shank number one hook. I find that this, this is the best long shank hook for the purpose of mackerel. You can either tie this with a, a basic knot or a loop knot. This depends. If you're using live bait, you may want to go with the loop knot. If you're using cut bait, regular blood knot work just fine. Pull it tight, trim your tags. All right, so there it is. All right, so I hope you guys like this tutorial on how to create a macro float rig. So just to inform you real quick on how this rig works, you have your bobber stop, which is here, the little black bead. You adjust this up and down the line, and this ultimately sets your depth. So when this bobber or this cord hits the water, it'll float up and stop at the bobber stop. Now below it, you'll find this 3 8 ounce lead, or you can even go uh, a quarter ounce, depending on the current and things. And then it'll go towards to your bait. So this weight will help keep your bait, your bait in the strike zone, regardless of the current. And then you'll have your long shank hook. So this will help pr prevent bite offs. That's why the long shank hook is so important. And this is why you can go down to a smaller leader size, and this will help prevent bite offs. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and as always, please share. Hey, if you have a recommendation for a video, I'm waiting on it. Until next time, we'll see you on the water.